your kidneys. Can I show everyone your back really quickly? Sure. So your kidneys <laughs> kind of live in this area. If someone comes in and I'm worried about an, a kidney infection, I'll actually give a little love tap here. And I'll ask, does that hurt? And oftentimes, if people have a kidney infection, they'll say, yes, indeed, that does hurt. But something else happens with kidneys. Have you ever heard of kidney stones? Oh, yes, yeah. Never had them, but I hear they're very painful. It, it's almost this flank-type pain, and it can radiate down into your groin. It might be associated with a little bit of blood in your urine. And what's happening, you want to touch the kidney? Yep. <laughs> That's a, and you can, can even pick open, it up? Yeah, pick it up and show everyone in the audience. Very small organ <laughs> that filters all of your blood. So in there is the collecting system. Your blood goes in and it filters out things that you need to get rid of. That then travels down your ureter oh. and then into your bladder and out. But something often happens in people. And in fact, this little demo here will show you. You wanna put that put kidney back down? Yeah. Oh, keep it open. So let's say you have a small kidney stone and typically we say less than five millimeters. These will usually pass on their own. So, you know, urine's going down the ureter, it comes out of the kidney, into the ureter, into the bladder. A small little kidney stone, less than five millimeters, will usually pass on its own. But a kidney stone that's bigger than five millimeters, like this bad boy, yeah. it can get caught in your ureter. Try to pour that down there. It's, it's barely getting through, and, it, and sometimes these will actually get, these, these stones will be so big that it can lead to kidney problems in and of themselves. So these big stones need to get treated. You need to talk to your urologist. Okay, we'll we're going to urinate right all there. this stage. Yeah. We don't want that, Carol. <laughs> and and let's move on because the big kahuna in your belly are your intestines, your small intestines and your large intestines. And we've all heard of the term, well, it's just gas, right? Well, when you're filled with gas, it's going to cause a diffuse sort of nondescript abdominal pain. You might even feel a little bit of bloating because that air will push your belly out a little bit. Right. Have you ever felt a colon? No. <laughs> you wanna lift that up for everyone? Sure. So your, your small intestines, think of them as being, they're, they're all wrapped together. Right. And then they feed into your colon and mm -hmm. your colon travels up this side, across the middle, and then down into your rectum area and then out. Wow. And so as a doctor, when you have abdominal pain, I'm literally feeling all around your abdomen. I'm thinking about what organs are in what area, trying to figure out, could this be a problem with your intestines? Is this potentially a problem with your gallbladder, your stomach, your pancreas? And I think the take home here for anyone in the audience, anyone at home, if, you're, if you develop new abdominal pain, you don't have a good explanation for what it is, it's worth getting it checked out.